Now, China has successfully launched its youngest ever astronauts or taikonauts into space, where they'll spend the next six months on a station called Heavenly Palace. Beijing is aiming for a record year of lunar exploration, but the US is growing increasingly alarmed at the prospect of a new space race. Laura Bicker reports. This launch is yet another step in a growing space race, a battle which could even decide who owns the moon. When you're so close, you can feel the ground vibrate, and the fact that China feels so confident to have us here shows its own confidence in its growing space ambitions. This is one of 100 launches they're planning this year as they try to outdo rival the United States. These are the three chosen to fly to China's homegrown space station. They've been in quarantine and are kept away from us behind glass. Wang Haozhe. They include the country's first female space engineer. I dream of exploring the vastness of space, waving to the stars, and of course, looking back at my homeland. My deepest affection will always be for my motherland, no matter where I am. I will keep striving and working tirelessly. The team have trained together for a year to conduct experiments and carry out spacewalks. The pilot is a veteran, but both Wang and her crewmate are China's next generation of space explorers. This year, they watched their country carry out an historic first and collect lunar samples from the far side of the moon. China also has a fleet of satellites in space and plans for many more, a rival to Elon Musk's Starlink. The modern space race is no longer about getting to the moon. It's about who will control its rich resources, valuable minerals and metals. And the head of NASA is worried China will claim them. I think his concerns are unnecessary. We adhere to the principles of peaceful use, equality, mutual benefit and joint development. As the astronauts make their last steps on Earth for the next six months, they're waved off as national heroes. China's rivalry with the US is no longer just based here on Earth. Both could soon be staking territorial claims well beyond this planet. Laura Bicker, BBC News, Gansu.